I have no words for what I have seen. So can you really do anything in this game? Just like D&D? Generic control in the deck goes move here. Back with another Maxer video. Today we're doing his newest upload, which is Baldur's Gate 3 Review. I cast bullet. I know next to nothing about Baldur's Gate 3 other than that it's a really good game with no microtransactions. And I think it won game of the year. And there's, I think you can like play as a bear or something like that. I'm not really sure. Like I said, we're going in. This is the first time I've seen anything related to Baldur's Gate 3. The last Maxer video I did was an incorrect summary of Devil May Cry 5 Part 2. You can check my reaction to that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. And I really should make a max or play this because i really enjoy these videos there's so many of them and you all seem to really enjoy them as well so thank you so much for being here shout out to the patrons because they get the videos there early and a lot of time on Halo channel could not do this if it was not for them so shout out to the patrons and i'm not really sure what the understanding uh for the thumbnail is why does it look like moist critical is in the thumbnail i don't know who the dude with the white hair is like i said i know nothing about Baldur's gate 3 literally nothing so i'm going to this basically blind and it's a maxer video so probably not the best way to learn about Baldur's gate 3 but hey let's give it a shot your, I'm sure your comments are going to be super helpful. I do read every single one of them, but let's go ahead and jump into it. This video All is right. going to spoil the entire game. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3 I, is possibly the funniest game ever funniest. made. And I do not think it actually intends I know to nothing about this game other than it has no microtransactions. Really taking place in a fantasy world where four adult friends are able to play on the same day. This game <laughs> faithfully and hilariously recreates the D&D &D experience all the way down to watching your friends paint the entire oh. of their camp with your combustible blood. Which Why is it turns combustible? Out, can act as the fuse for a bomb. And that is just now, the beginning that's of creative. the absolute insanity that this game has to offer. Because I believe in one game of the Baldur's year. Gate, anything is possible and everything is determined via dice roll. And oh, yes, it is like the does determine whether or not you're going to be transformed into cats four turns before the building explodes. I think this is the best game ever made, and I'm not even exaggerating. But before beginning our amazing uh, adventures, oh, we have to oh, choose it, our characters very carefully. Uh, We've got Asterian, the Dark Age, Squid Game, Huggy Wuggy, all the what? customization you can think of for my human male fighter. But today, we're going what? to be playing as Angyat Riz King, a they them wild magic sorcerer with absolutely unnatural charisma. Charisma the, is so of course, powerful that, that is a very natural thing to do. To kill his dog. To kill himself then convinced him to join me against the forces of satan 30 hours after i said to so can you really do anything in this game Riz king is not just like dnd &D. my playthrough was classified as morally ambiguous because i usually did the right thing very badly you're probably wondering right about now max or why are you speaking to a sentient rat in hell that is a good question with a very bad answer fine i thought it would be really funny to sell my soul to lucifer and then break into his house kill his incubus that he back. to have sex with himself steal my soul back along with everything worth money which is like the medic from tf2 make a break for it just in time to get caught and be forced to kill satan who by the way has why can you just do HP that and uh, sings about how he's going to kill you like a disney villain i mean he can action? sing pretty good as we Maybe. learned from has been a in retrospect, I did not think I would get caught. So, on top of his immaculate Riz and dubious ethical success, the most important detail of On God Riz King is that he is a wild magic sorcerer, which is definitely a class to choose. Imagine for a moment that you and your 20 allies are trying to push past a narrow corridor. Uh, when me and the fellas cast a swarm of bees, black got the bees, and a goopy fart cloud, which kills your entire team before you are able to see anything. I call this strategy the fucked up hentai. Now, if that was that too seems very meta, happen, you would theoretically accuse me of a lot of bullshit, to which I would respond with, yes, officer, I did just disintegrate that child. And what's more, I have committed crimes you can't even charge me for. Why? Say hello to the spell. Are you inventing death, new crimes? Which works by placing your allies into a coma. This, I would argue, is not a very useful spell. But if I were to say, give Why? all my money away to a lucky merchant, then he would trust me enough to initiate nap time. <laughs> and after carefully concealing my presence in a conspicuous dark blob, <laughs> I will be able to steal my money back plus interest. <laughs> and what's more, I get a fucking discount next time I show up. Uh -huh. Is that requiring just a little too much thought? Are you perhaps getting tired Which I know Maxer probably isn't damage. the best way to my friend, be introduced no to a game. Globe of invulnerability, which does exactly what you think it does a little too well. The only caveat being that the invulnerability happens to work on enemies, and they tend oh. to see invulnerability as an advantage. Meaning <laughs> literally every fight that I use it in devolves 
falls into the funny friendship circle. Say, for instance, that you were an enemy whose entire purpose is to explode yourself. If you happen to wander into the orb of comedy, you would be forced to unsuccessfully comedy. activate your bomb vest. 20 times in a row, hoping oh. and praying for a death that I cannot provide you. Honestly, if you're creative, why does that you don't cancel? even have to play most combat encounters. I once fought a boss that began every fight by instantly killing me. Now, oh, yeah, that's fine. Normal people in this situation would reload the game, try some other quests, literally anything that uses your brain. But I am not normal people. No, you're not. I'm autistic. <laughs> How else do you think this video gets made? The neurotypicals couldn't do this shit. That's so fair. Instead, we are going to cleverly sneak up on him with my entire party then mm -hmm. cast nobody fear heard, on heard him, that forcing the man to flee while me and the fellows beat him to death with hammers another time uh, i was stuck in a difficult combat encounter with a invincible what about the fighter bots in this point floor, like he, that's how you tell them when the move reasonable animal and forgot about him for the rest of the fight of course magic doesn't Aww. always have to be used for combat or stealing sometimes it can be used for productive things like, like what Remote detonation. Imagine for a moment that you were tasked with solving a murder because the elephant police are being racist. The elephant Not police? Non-elephants, mind you. Just immigrants. My guy is a, a reactionary ranch soda. You would be able to quickly resolve this situation by performing necromancy and asking the murder victim who killed them. Alternatively, if I wanted to, say, kill everyone in the goblin camp without conventional methods, I could simply cast Speak With Animals and gently convince the local spiders to begin an erected race war. In fact, you can use this on any Oh, animal is that because game, he has including charisma? Including rats into revealing their cheese location, or the cat that narrates like a noir detective. Although I do think it is very strange that what? I don't have to cast it before why is he keep posing? But honestly, out of all the magical items you can obtain in this game, my favorite was definitely the Gamer Sup's energy drinks because it gives my character enough energy to leap 50 is feet through Gamer the air Sup's actually in the game or is that a mod? Because I don't know. What's to you is this cool alchemy powder so you can save on gold and craft it into useful consumables. Gamer Sup's has. I like how he uses a cutting board like instead of a mirror. Ashes, guacamole Gamer Part 9000. Oh, that's my badgers. Favorite. Lean. These are actual flavor names. Yeah. We're also working on getting you guys an official Maxor Cup. This is not the official Maxor Cup. I would put boobs on it. But of course you, you would. Dude, a Maxor Cup would be sick. Them, you can find the shop for them here in Description Alley, right next to the subscribe is, store. I guess his and next video he's going to have that, so probably a couple months away from that. Spells. I am not responsible for what comes after. <laughs> Wizard Baltimore. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Why? I just saw a wizarding duel outside Walgreens. One wizard cast a bullet at the other and stole his magical herbs. <laughs> Turns out Gale wasn't actually a crip. Or maybe now he is. Wizarding life uh, truly is a Why are you just dancing like that? Pennsylvania. Because oh, when you I'm join sure the that is. Magic gang, where that is. you aren't just making a character. You're making a mistake. Wild magic sorcerers have a random chance to select an effect from a list of 100. As long as you install the mod that adds 80. Every oh. character cast was a guarantee that something will happen, and whether or not I wanted that to happen is, is a different story entirely. Consider the scenario that you and your heroic party are desperately trying to heroic. escape an underwater prison, and oh, no, five shot. it wasn't for bestiality. It was for hate crimes. You have five turns to escape before your character reenacts the Titanic. This is when you make the crazy mistake of casting a spell, which triggers the random effect of... Uh, Lock all doors. Magically transforming this exploding prison into an exploding coffin. That is ooh. a reload. Or how about the Wait, that I was tasked with so to a torch the random mods Whereupon the game decided can that it would be him. really funny if I was banished to another dimension. Because it would be even funnier if I happened to reload the game and immediately get petrified. Okay, look, I, mean, I am exaggerating a little bit here. After all, the chances of you transforming into an ovine on your third try... Uh... Uh, would be pretty low. Uh huh, but not course, zero. Wild magic doesn't always have to ruin the game. Sometimes it can do really helpful things, like, like permanently inflict my character with the clown curse, which is, by every metric, an objective upgrade. I had an Why is it a curse? scene after I got this, and I'm sure it made everyone feel better. Uh huh. Here we have the fight with the giant robot where I accidentally transform myself into a cheese wheel. This gives us all kinds of new abilities, like cheese. Still never played spell, Skyrim either. Which would be really good. Oh, they gave him the cheese. Touch. The robots could spell. Now, due to the obvious Why are there robots of my class, Baldur's Gate 3 provides a myriad of options for customization, leveling, and companions. Who, by the way, can be respec.
expect into any other class. Making strategies like the four-man gambling squad and Jurassic Park. Completely possible, but not exactly viable. Personally, I find it completely bullshit that I do not get an intimidation bonus for walking into the bank with three fucking Velociraptors. Yeah, no, I- Do you see this very often? No. So to Is it normal? The Baldur's Gate 3 experience, we have to make some friends and eventually have sex with most of them. Honestly, most of them? Uh, pretty easy to forget that this game has combat. Personally, though, I didn't get with any of them. Mostly because I can't show it, but also because I was interested in a more acquired taste. That's right, baby. Gay sex with Squidward. I always dreamed of touching those Squidward tentacles as I played his clarinet. Also, if you don't have sex with anyone human, the camp skeleton just insults you for having no bitches. I have no words for what I have seen. <laughs> Shadow Heart, more affectionately referred uh, to. Let, let me. My, my brain was cooked. What did he just say? The camp skeleton just insults you for having no bitches. And thus thou art alone. Oh wow. <laughs> Shadow Heart, more affectionately referred to as Shart, is a cleric of Shar that I spent they they gaslighting into a religious fundamentalist. Then, as soon as that became slightly inconvenient, beat her to death with my entire party so badly that I could not revive the body for round two. Now, Shadowheart could have survived if I actually trusted her, but, but unfortunately, she is a white woman, and I don't trust the host. <laughs> oh, Kale is an aggressively bisexual wizard with a nuclear bomb inside of his chest. And, That's uh, normal, right? It wants me to feed it boots. Now, Gale claims this is because of his relationship with an actual goddess, but I don't believe him. Not because that's completely insane, but because I've seen how Gale behaves around me. This motherfucker is gay. And since I've covered all this game's so wacky <laughs> and funny spells, I decided that I was going to respect Gale into a barbarian and give him a gun. What? Is that 1911? He is not out of shit. That is a 1911. Will is a daring and noble warlock who is constantly told what to do and treated like a dog by a demon girl. So I don't understand why he doesn't enjoy that. This game's writing is unrealistic. <laughs> Lazel is a gift Yankee fighter who, within three seconds of speaking to her, made me decide that yes, I am going to do a racist character today. And over the course of our adventure, Lazel surprised and shocked me by uh, never failing to prove my racism. Oh no, not saying I cannot hear these sounds. Is, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I installed that mod. Asterion is a devilishly handsome rogue that specializes in giving enemies the devious back shots. This is mostly because Asterion happens to be a literal vampire, oh. which becomes relevant when I sacrifice 7,000 children to him to create the ultimate life form. <sighs> Shadow. I promise the scene isn't gay. Oh. Unfortunately, this did basically nothing as Asterion proceeded to walk down the hall and get his ass beat to death with hammers. Because That's it? All, all that just for that? ...could have given us, Asterion had graciously received the power to continue being useless. Though, to be fair to Asterion, no ultimate vampire twink is going to kill five full-blood Texans on their fifth Medela. And Karlak is a very hot barbarian that I used throughout the game as a punching bag. One time, Karlak got so mad that she randomly destroyed every box in a 10 meter radius. But why? Were there the anything in the boxes? Until we fucking died. It was at this moment I decided that Karlak was going to be the one to disarm every trap in the game for me. Oh, Make yeah. Sure to grab the treasures, Karlak. With our powers combined, we are the, uh... To so this is how you molecule. build the team. We're having so much fun without Shadowheart. So, as the world's shittiest polycule, so I guess, yeah, I guess you get the pick three people the and you meet them all. Stop the Squidward ethno state. Mostly by accident, because if there's one Wait, thing I thought, that motivates me, what was your whole deal with Squidward? Potential investments? It is stealing from them. <laughs> yes, sir. It is certainly bad if the only bank in the city gets robbed. Uh huh. Yes, yeah. Don't worry. I've conducted a thorough investigation in my camp, and I have found no evidence of wrongdoing. <laughs> 10k gold? I don't know if that's a lot or a little. Better term, fucking insane, both in their scope and in content. Mostly the content, with multiple contingencies for failure, partial success, or the classic unrestricted Japanese war crimes. Truly, the sky is the limit in Baldur's Gate. Is that and the only giant pyramid head? From achieving your dreams are the consequences of your actions. If, for instance, you were to ride the calamari carousel, a future character will roast you for your What did he just God call that? In front of your friends. Your choices matter in Baldur's Gate 3. One time, I decided to visit the circus so I could piss off the local genie so badly that he sent me to Jurassic Park. Oh, but, uh, and that's, that's where you got the dinosaurs right from. Now. 
exploring the non-insane part of the circus, we find ourselves enraptured by the performance of Dribbles the Clown. Oh, the only and that's where I guess the clown makeup comes from. A series of murders by shapeshifters. I had already met Dribbles the Clown, and I was carrying his severed torso. Wait, in my inventory. The entire time. Safekeeping. So, despite knowing the identity of my gang stalkers, I decided to send a stereo. Bring that out in front of him. Mainly because I thought it would be funny. And I was not disappointed. This guy should open a YouTube channel where he promotes an energy drink he intentionally poisons. Whoa. Now, you're gonna want to be careful after doing this quest. Because Why? unbeknownst to you, one of your crewmates has been replaced by an imposter. Oh wait. And worst of all, oh, shapeshifter. I am kind of into this. Can you shapeshift yourself pregnant? So whether you know it or not, you are going to be playing among us for the next 10 hours. And honestly, playing as what? the monster is so, it's so just much more fun. So many Which people why, are. Instead of stopping the killings, I decided that I was going to do them myself and eventually join the blood cult by bathing in the blood of the racist elephant to bring about a new future of crimson despair. Is it just one Shape elephant? Shapeshifters are usually multiracial, by definition. What I'm trying to say with these long anecdotes is, is that you never just go to the circus in this game, or God forbid, speak to a clown. Though you are watching this YouTube video. Which is close. And the wow. If you want to nail a porcupine to your neighbor's balls. So <laughs> what? Me explaining how? <laughs> Dude, the explosive barrels. The, is, is that just game. like a meme? Like, does everybody love those? Central London. And like the actual London, it is unfortunately like that mean that everybody just does the English. exploding you can, uh, barrels. Really tell because you can't understand anyone, and Sans. the food is an Stop. Edible. It is You're haunting that Baldur's me. Gate really shines as a game where you can do almost anything, and an unlucky developer will be forced to code it. There are three targets for you to kill in the Goblin Camp, or uh. if you're bad enough, several dozen, each with their own personalities, weaknesses, and premium cheese strategies. Needless to say, uh, this channel is not going to offer you any good advice. Uh, After yeah. all, there's a lot of guide videos for this game alongside... Well, the game is massive. Device. So, while I'm hey, not going to be showing list? you my phenotype, what I can give you is a taste of the premium cheddar. Okay, so you're going to want to start out by uh, going invisible and placing a wyvern toxin into the Kool-Aid. Then lead a toast by declaring that we are going to drink... Until we die. Oh, make sure that Asterion make, is the make one sure. to do it, by the way. We don't need him anymore. Heading inside. We is take that the loading screen? First target by following her to a secluded location, summoning mm. a cloud of daggers, and then initiating verbal exchange, locking oh. her into our conversation while she is slowly stabbed to death. This over and over, crime, by the way, because, you keep us. well, they could just walk out. Just Wait, so don't hit a piece of wood while you're doing that, because then you're not going to be killed for assault. You're going to be killed. So do you have to property. roll for everything? The next trick we're going to do is called Minthara Skip, because we are going to be summoning a random spectator to skip to the end of Minthara's life. Just pray to God that she doesn't go down easily, because uh, the spectator certainly won't. Finally, we have our third target, Dror Rasglin, who is slightly hard to kill the conventional way. So, well, so what's the that, unconventional we're way? We're going to do something significantly harder. I know, really original strategy. Oh, wow. Doing that again. Welcome to the Underdark, home of the uh, spectator boss fight. Because, oh, yes, and there's a spectator. In addition to having a giant underground area filled with Skyrim. interesting flora and fauna, Baldur's Gate 3 dares to ask the question of what if people in the Underdark had a different skin color to me? Oh, and no. completely unrelated to that, what if there was a lot of slavery? Because it is this very slavery that we are going to take advantage of. Immediately okay, the explosion. Basement, you're gonna want to head over to the uh, Mushroom Kingdom. And, uh, we haven't really had the montage. That the princess is now a permanent guest at one of Bowser's seven Koopa hotels. Talking to the giant mushroom, you're gonna have to explain to him how reanimating the bodies of dead Velociraptors is technically not a war crime. No, it but wouldn't what be. What I'm going to use them for is definitely a war crime. And after playing a game, is that a war crime? Is, the corpses that your enemies reanimated, we steal their boats and progress down the river towards the Iron Fortress of Grimforge. This place fucking sucks, Dick. I'm gonna kill this. This game is massive, right? Welcome to Grimforge. Like this is a, just a part Home one, many different kinds right? Of people, whether they're enslaved or enslaving. You uh, really only have two options here in the Grimforge. Are there just no you repercussions for your actions? Minecraft Let's Play. We overhear rumors of an ancient and powerful explosive, which will purchase my child labor at least 30 minutes of Roblox time. And after gently ascertaining the location, 
from their bodies, we carefully confiscate the nuclear weapon using a refined negotiation tactic where I lie to them. Now oh. equipped with the most powerful bomb in the game, we are presented with a choice. We can either use this bomb to help the gnome slaves finally or, achieve or their freedom, what? or we can use it to kill Jor Rasklin. Oh. So, uh, going back to he the doesn't have camp, like voice actor, like YouTube voice actor. Experimentation that Jor Rasklin doesn't actually die to the bomb that I just placed. So, uh, into the hole oh. you go, I guess. And that is how you quickly and efficiently speed run the goblin camp. Make oh, the sure speed run on the more, side. Convenient time saves. Peter, what are you doing? Family guy, funny wow. moments. What the fuck? Okay, so the point I'm trying to get across, uh, really badly, is that this game is utterly massive. And it yeah. does not That's stop me you from enjoying it. Uh, Genshin. In Baldur's Gate 3, every single mistake you can possibly make is going to come up again. And uh, most of the time, it is in the form of racial conflict. For instance, do you want to be a good Samaritan and free the Deep Gnomes from their unjust imprisonment? Well, or... congratulations. You just happened to free the Deep Gnome Clan's Grand Wizard. I hope you're ready for a race war in 20 hours. Because uh, if you happen to misplace a certain bomb, then uh, oh. he's going to happen to make Hiroshima look like a fucking <laughs> joke. Personally, <laughs> this kind of stuff is the funniest shit I have ever seen. Not the race in part, although that is still funny, but rather the simple joy of knowing that your save file has probably already been destroyed by without you even knowing it. Since beginning the long process of making this video, Dude, I have been a multiplayer warlock named Risley Bear, alongside my friends Reese and Nomer Simpson. And after playing for approximately 10 minutes, I can confirm <sighs> that my first character inadvertently killed almost everyone he spoke to, and about With... half the time, the He's reverse was doing. Killed. A good example of this is the time that I just so happened to wander my character into a literal god. Oh, who then offered me a pivotal by accident? And important quest. Just run into a god by accident? The reasonable inquiry that if she was a god, surely she would be able to kill anyone she wanted. She responded by fucking vaporizing me. Oh, Overall, uh, okay. In every Do they know that they're in a video game or something? Game, provided, of course, you want or to is that just a reload. murder goblin. Otherwise, uh... Why do you even play video games? We blow shit up in this motherfucker. Better take your sensitive ass back to LinkedIn. <laughs> With scores of amazing and deep content that I unintentionally locked myself out of because we <laughs> accidentally killed a man named Bingus Bongus. That's Rick not his name. Strategic and complicated combat and an entire I have no idea what I'm even looking at. Which will leave you wondering. How the fuck am I allowed to do this? Is this a glitch or intended behavior? Yes. So while I didn't get to cover everything since uh I'm only human, you that's... can trust me when I say that there is something in this game for everybody. Yeah, that's what I think. Ten, would so. unleash Gnome Hitler again. For me though, I would like to thank all of my amazing patrons, using uh, and sacrificing their funding for only the finest of video game content. As always, more deranged gacha game videos to come. Like what? Sure to spend is that his next one? Very responsibly. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this video is about Baldur's Gate 3. I, I, well, I, there has to be more, right? Like, is, is this just like one arc of it? Just like he's doing with Elden Ring? Because it's such a massive game. He deserves every single of these patrons and more. Maxer is outrageous. Wow, okay. Well, that was the Baldur's Gate 3 review. I learned everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> because it's a Maxer video, which obviously, like, a lot of people say is like, enjoy the video, but don't look, like, too deep into it. Like, don't believe everything he says, but they are hilariously interpreted, I guess. I guess he does very interpreted. The funny, that's the funny part, is the interpretation of the review. But it's a Max video. I love every single one of them. They come out, like, every other week, I think, every other Sunday. Patrons get them a day early. I look forward to reading your comments, which are probably going to be a lot of very long comments This explaining what Baldur's Gate 3 is and why it's so good. I, I just appreciate it because I think it's from a smaller studio and there's no microtransactions. And I think it was actually released as a completed game and not like an early release that's broken or doesn't have the features that were promised leading up to it. I don't think I heard about Baldur's Gate 3 until it was released. Um, I don't know if it had like a, bu a bunch of hype going into it or anything like that, which maybe is why it's such a popular game because it wasn't hyped up upon release. It had like maybe a quiet release and then everybody got really excited for it. I don't know. I didn't hear about it until like one game of the year and people were praising it for not having microtransactions, which 
is amazing these days. And I'm not even sure how much of... Was it a full price game or was it actually cheaper? I don't know. I look forward to reading your comments. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope I made it a tiny little bit better. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing.